Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how to create this badass Rafiki look inspired by the tattoo artist Ogre Fox Tattoo. His artwork is dope, so please make sure to check him out. If you do have the time, I'll include his link in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this tutorial, and if you haven't guessed already, I'm doing this in celebration of the Lion King movie coming out. I still haven't seen it yet, so please, no spoilers. The first thing we're going to do is block out our brows with an almost purple glue stick. I'm not going to go into depth on how I do this because I've done it in previous videos before. But I'll be really brief, you're going to get the glue really up in there in between the hair of the eyebrows and then you're going to brush out your brows with the spoolie. Brush your brows in the upward direction and then clean up any excess glue or gunk with a wet q-tip. Then you're going to go ahead and let it dry down. Apply some translucent powder over your brows and then repeat the same steps three to four more times or until you have a flat surface to work on. So basically until you can't really feel the ridges of your eyebrow hair and it's basically smooth. So yeah, repeat this about three to four times. So now that that's done, we can get to the fun part which is making the outline for Rafiki's face. Taking an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil, I'm going to begin sketching out where I want everything to be. I'm going to begin by sketching out the eye shape, drawing a diagonal line in the inner corner and outer corner of my eye, and then bringing the shape around the top of my brow. Then curving the shape around just below my eye socket. Go ahead and repeat this on the other eye. Now that the eyes are done, you're going to sketch a line down the sides of the bridge of your nose. Then curve it out slightly past the edge of your nostrils. Then you're going to bring it down into a V shape towards the cupid's bow of your lip. This will be your center guideline, it just makes it easier to divide your face in half and go from there. Then you're going to go ahead and sketch out the upper brow area, and you're going to stop around the temple area. Then you're going to go ahead and sketch out the cheek area and bring a curved line down under your cheekbone. Roughly sketch in four lines, or three. Using Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer, I'm going to prep my eye just so I have the most vibrant color payoff. I'm literally going to apply this all the way up to my brows. Taking my Sugar Pill Pro Palette and the shade Kimchi, I'm going to apply the color to the outer V of my lid all the way up to my crease. Taking my Eye Magic Cosmetics Flash Palette and a Precision Eyeliner Brush, I'm going to go ahead and outline a lid shape and this will be the eye shape pretty much yeah <laughs> now taking the Alyssa Edwards palette and the shade dream it I'm going to go ahead and shade in the inner part of the lid I'll be using both a Morphe pencil brush and a tapered blending brush to blend this out then with the ABH primer again I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease using a flat oval brush Next, taking the shade Headliner from the Alyssa Edwards palette, I'm going to pack that color on. And then taking Kimchi, I'm going to go ahead and blend that in as well. Make sure to blend until you have a nice gradient using a clean brush. Then I'll be using the shade Beast in the outer V to add some depth to the eye. Using the Eye Magic Flash palette in the blue shade again, I'm going to go ahead and begin filling in the top part above the lid. Then I'm going to go ahead and set that with the Dream It eyeshadow and kimchi. Here I'm using the shade Beast and adding some dark shading in the inner corners of the eye and up to the brow area. Using NYX Cosmetics Matte Black Liquid Eyeliner, I'm going to outline the lid shape. I'm now going to fill in the bottom part of the eye area with a mixture of the light blue and dark blue from the Eye Magic Flash palette and then I'm going to set it with the Dream It shadow from the ABH Alyssa Edwards palette and do a little more shading with the shade Beast. I'm now going to begin outlining and filling in the upper brow area, using the dark blue to outline and then the light blue to fill it in. Leave the center of the upper brow empty so you can fill it in later. I mixed red and yellow from the flash palette to make orange and now I'm using it to fill in the center and I'm setting it with Lit and Keen from the Stacey Marie MUA Carnival palette. The NYX eyeliner wasn't doing it for me, so I'm taking Maron's Black Paradise paint and outlining the eye area. I'm now going to fill in the nose with the orange shade I mixed earlier. Then I'm going to set the base color with the shades Keen and Lit once again. 
Use the shades Back Rolls and Bees to shade the area between the eyes. Using Back Rolls, I'm going to shade under the tip of my nose and this will give the nose a wider appearance. And taking Maron's Black Paradise paint, I'm going to finish outlining my nose shape. Clean up any excess product with a Q-tip and makeup remover. Using Ben Nye's Clown White Face Paint, I'm going to paint a strip across the tip of my nose. I want the nose to be a little more prominent, so this will definitely help it stand out. I'm then going to line under it with the Mayron Black Paradise Paint. Going to go ahead and start filling in Rafiki's cheeks with the light blue shade from the Flash Palette. Then I'm going to go ahead and set the area with the shade headliner. Add some shading using the shade Dream It. Then finish outlining the area with Mayron's Black Paradise Paint. I went ahead and mixed black and white from the Flash Color Palette to make gray, and I'm going to fill in the top of my forehead with that shade. Then I'm going to set that as well with the shade Headliner and then do some shading with the shade Beast. Go ahead and line that upper brow with Mayron's Black Paradise Paint. Using Ben Nye's Clown White Face Paint again, I'm going to begin filling in the area for Rafiki's fur and then dispersing the color with a dry beauty blender. Jumping around here, I mixed the shades peach, brown, and white with a little bit of yellow to make Rafiki's muzzle shade and I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Taking the Supreme shade and back rolls, I am going to begin shading the area under my nose and around the muzzle. Back with the Ben Nye Clown White and a small concealer brush, I'm going to begin creating hair strokes. Go ahead and apply this liberally and blend out any harsh edges with a dry beauty blender. I forgot to show it in the video, but I set the area with Ben Nye's Super White Face Powder afterwards and then did some shading with the shade Bees. Just a very minimum amount on the brush because you don't want it to come out black when you're shading. Go ahead and begin drawing in some line work for the hair. I just used a series of curvy motions into a V shape. You can just do however you please. There's not many ways you can really mess this up. I mean you can, but just, you know, common sense. This next part isn't necessary, but you can do it if you like. I'm just doing it to add more of an artistic appeal to the look. And also I'm going off of a reference photo based on Ochre Fox tattoo, so I'm going to try to match the style of that image the best that I can. Here I'm using Maron's White Paradise paint to add some highlight. This part is also unnecessary if you're looking just to do the face makeup, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through this. Feel free to follow along through the time lapse. So if you would like, go ahead and skip forward a little bit here. Using Ofra Cosmetics Fixed Line Eyeliner Gel in the shade White Rabbit, I'm going to go ahead and tightline my waterline with this shade. I did a short thick wing and I'm setting it with the shade Headliner and then coating my lashes so that they're white. I'm going to go put on a wig and then the look will be done. <laughs> So yeah, here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you're not following me on IG, please make sure to do so. My IG is at omally. Until next time, Mally Cats. Hungry gong, a hinging on a digging on a squash banana, hungry. Ah!